Well, hello again. Again, everyone. How is it going? We are streaming live. It's the Daily Creative Challenge. We're here, <laughs> streaming from New York. I am Sam Anderson, uh, a designer here at Adobe on the Adobe XD design team, uh, which is just the most fun team to be a part of. Uh, and I, I just have a ton of fun like every day. Um, I would love to say hi to everyone in the chat. Hey, uh, Jack and Tim and Cornelian, uh, Cindy, Cordula, Richard. Oh, it is so great uh, to, to see all of you back back here for uh, another another day in um, another day in the XD Daily Tra Challenge. So um, I'm streaming from New York. It's it's starting to be sweater weather. And it's like, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Um, what's the weather like where you're tuning in from? Because uh, look, I've, I have a sweater on. I'm, you know, proudly getting into, it's not even like that cold, um, but uh, <laughs> I just really want it to be sweater weather. So uh, what's, the, what's, the <laughs> what's the weather like where you're tuning in from? Hey, Rachel and Richard, uh, it's great for everyone to be back here. Are you guys ready for some, for some designing, yeah. Richard says Richard says it's, it's a chilly day here in in New York City. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna get colder though, <laughs> uh, pretty soon. So we'll see. Hey, Wendy, how's it going? Uh, lots of familiar names. It's great to see uh, all this activity. So um, if you're not familiar, behance.net slash challenge slash xd. That's a website URL I just read to you, uh, and. That is our homepage for the Daily Creative Challenge, where you're, you will find each of the challenges each and every day. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. We have so many so far. Um, these are all the previous ones, and here's today, October 8, um, which is all about uh, doing sorting of recyclable goods and finding ways uh, to, to get rid of things that you might not know where they go. And so we have a starter file. Uh, we have a this gray button there will actually uh, take you to where you can get our starter file. Rachel says it's nice out in Chicago. Oh, nice! That's where I'm from. Shout out to shout out to Chicago. Um, great stuff. And uh, also down here at the bottom of this page is Tim linked to this in the in the Behance chat. By the way, if you want to get to that to this page. Um, you can get to our Discord from here, this little box, and I will show you our Discord. Where is it here? I accidentally turned it off. Okay, we gotta wait. We gotta. We're gonna wait for it to boot up. Like they have the fun like little animation. Not bad, right? Um, and the Discord's great. It's this huge chat where we have um, everyone just talking. Like they're all designers, right? This one's. This is the chat channel. Everyone's just you know chatting it up. But then we also have the current dash challenge channel. And this one's great because everyone's showing their work. Look at this one. I like that red background. Don't you like that red background? Good job. Uh, look at this green background. <laughs> Don't you like that green background? <laughs> um, I'm a fan of color. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. And some of these I haven't even gotten a chance to get feedback on, but I am hopping in here uh, whenever I get a chance to get feedback on, on people's designs and like you know help bring them to the next level and then from there you can actually upload to Behance you know put it on your profile and uh, you know take it to the next generation so we're giving feedback to each other we're helping each other become better designers on discord and you can you can get the sign up link on that on that link so here's that starter file um, that we're interested in for today and we're at we're at number six number six not bad. Ryan says, hey, hey, from Michigan. Hello. Hello, Michigan. Uh, so, okay, day six. Let's read the prompt. Let's jump into this. Design an experience that scans and sorts recyclable goods, allow people to scan an item, then use timed transitions to give recycling tips. Uh, let the phone's camera be the main tool for scanning. Um, cool. And so we've seen a lot of scan apps like this in the in the past right or we've we've heard about lots of things like this and it's really the camera and it's why like I did other camera related design uh, challenges it's it's becoming the tool 
that we're carrying around with us that is really just pushing our boundaries of what we can do. And so we got to know how to design a camera based experience and let's uh, let's do it to help the earth as well. You know, help people recycle or get rid of uh, their things or donate their things in a way that, uh, you know, makes sense to them. That's that's understandable. So um, here's like uh, a scanning app. This might be Adobe scan. I'm not sure. But, you know, to scan a PDF, that's, you know, pretty straightforward of, of a page. Right. Um, here's one. I found this on Dribble um, from Alex and he did he or she did um, like a scan of like like products. Right. I think it, I think it's all perfume based uh, products. And here's one. This I think exists out in the App Store. This one's just a this one, this one's just a concept. But this one I believe actually exists. It's called Calorie Mama. <laughs> Don't you like that name, <laughs> Calorie Mama? Um, and you take a picture of your food, and then it guesses what food it is. Get this. And this isn't like new. Like this has been around. This technology is possible. And I think it. Sometimes we don't grasp like. Okay, we gotta be designer for the cutting edge because the cutting edge is like already in the past. Um, so it it identifies what you're taking a photo of, what you're eating. Not only that, but it, it'll tell you like the the nutritional value of that, or at least a close estimation of of what it might be. And so, really cool, right? Not bad, not bad. Let's take this to the next level. Let's take it to how we get rid of things. Um, <laughs> I'm glad, Richard, that you like the name. I love the name, too. Um, OK, so basically the idea here is that we take a picture of something that we need to get rid of. And maybe it's something that we don't actually know how to get rid of. And we need to get rid of it, right? So at initially, I was like, OK, we'll do something basic, um, like a can, right? And the, the app can identify, oh, this is an aluminum can. You throw it in the recycling bin. But like how how helpful would that be really you know and do you really need an app to tell you <laughs> to recycle an aluminum can probably not like and if we made that concept it might be neat and yes we're learning xd but like is it actually like helping anyone probably not i think i think we could there's other ways to solve that problem you can put a thing on the recycling bin that says put cans in here and boom you don't need an app if you don't need an app, don't design an app, right? Uh, that's that's my mantra. Um, there's tons of apps for things that don't don't need to be apps, right? Um, and so I ditched I ditched the can idea. We're not doing a can, um, but feel free to do whatever you'd like. I did um, I did furniture. So this is a chair, right? Um, and this was a problem I ran into myself recently. It's like, oh, I've got all this like stuff, and I need to get rid of it somehow. It might not be recycling, it might be donating, it might be selling. I don't know, but the core use case being like, oh, I've got this stuff and I need to get rid of it. So let's start there. You can start however you want and you can use whatever item that you want your app to take care of um, that is like representative of what uh, you want your app to, to take care of for you. So recycling or not, charity or not, donating or not, uh, we're going to do this and get started because it's all going to be a similar workflow. So I have this photo of a chair. This is actually a chair that I was I was trying to uh, get rid of when I was moving out of San Francisco. Um, and so like I ended up finding someone that, that would take it. Um, but it's like, okay, if I couldn't find someone that's going to take it, like where can I donate this, right? So that someone else could have it. Um, and so let's work with that photo because it's a real use case, you know? Why not work with real use case information? And so I've, I've got like this camera feed, right? So this would be the camera feed and we have a shutter button. This is similar to what we worked, if you were in tune with the, the last uh, few streams, like a few streams ago, we did something similar where we take a photo. But this one's different in that we have, we take the shutter and then we're going to pull up information below it. Um, it's not like we're using overlays like the last one. And so how I've wired that up is that you press the shutter button and then this card slides up. So the card slides up and we're going to put information on there. So that's all I've, I've done to start with. Um, and we need to think about like what type of information we're going to put on there and uh, we'll get there. But we do know, at least I know, that the, our first step is at least going to start with some sort of loading uh, because 
any of these apps that are taking in a photo to start an analysis. And the way that analysis is done is through machine vision models. And if you want to, you can, you can do some research, really cool stuff, onto like, how machine vision works and how a computer algorithm will identify what is inside a photo. Um, really cool, very possible, very, very possible. This is all doable. Um, and so we can actually run this through an algorithm that perhaps we design to identify recyclable objects or types of objects, and uh, it would have that loading phase. And so it might take a few seconds. So we're going to design reasonably by designing in that loading phase. Because if we just jump in and um, like uh, make it like have the results immediately, which we could do in XD, because you know this is a prototype, it just wouldn't feel realistic. Um, so. I was going to say analyzing your photo, but that's like, you need to think about when, you, when you're making something, like what kind of language are you using? And analyzing is just such a analytical word. So how about we just do looking at your photo? Because that's what it's doing. It's looking at your photo. Human language. Perfect. Um, maybe not so bold. Yeah, cool. Looking at your photo, and it's like a dot, dot, dot. We'll do like some sort of like load spinner. People, people need things to look at when they are waiting. Like, they, they are, oh gosh, we need something. Especially if it's like moving. Oh, people love it. People love it so much. Um, I'm going to do, I did this in a previous one as well, but I'm just setting up uh, a dashed line as a border. Uh, let's do, four, four, no, 60. 60? Sure. Um, dash line as a border so that it just fills partially. And then what we're going to do, let's make this blue. A nice blue. Ah, there we go. We're going to, we're going to spin this around. So that's like our loading spinner, right? Um, cool, cool. You guys got this so far? You have any questions about XD, throw them my way. Do you see what I just did there? I duplicated this whole artboard, uh, Command D, and then now I have another one. And then I rotated the spinner, because I want the spinner to rotate. Um, because we are in traditional XD fashion using auto animate. And we'll go to the next one. Uh, auto animate is our transition. We'll do a time transition so it automatically starts going. Uh, no easing. Cool. Duration, maybe like 0.7 seconds. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, there's Discord. Um, OK. So let's do just like one more like iteration of, of the spinning, where it just spins around one more time. And then we'll move on to like how it's showing the analysis of this. And so we'll just do that one more time. So it does two full loops. And that's kind of actually a quick turnaround for image analysis. but. You know, we can see into the future a little bit and say, like, okay, this this might be a little faster in the future. We can design for the future. That's okay. That's great as long as it's informed in the present, right? Um, that's why I'm always I'm always throwing links in here um, for you to read further and find out like what's the future saying or what's you know how can I learn more about the current uh, state to. Uh... Oh, that was cool. It actually spun the wrong direction on the second time, but I actually don't mind it. Um, it's kind of, you know, your loading spinner can do anything at once as long as they have, people have something to look at while they're waiting. And so let's have that go away. We're actually going to move it up. I duplicated it again, that same artboard. I move fast. I use a lot of shortcuts. Shortcuts are great. Um, and we're going to reduce that in opacity. So it's going to fade up when it's done loading. And actually, maybe we should have it keep spinning when it's loading. So I just rotated that invisible object now. And then we're going to load our analysis. So um, so I, I'm thinking like this app is for getting rid of anything. So if you took a picture of the can, it would show you, hey, recycle the can. But it's recognizing that this is uh, furniture. So looks like, um, again, human language. Looks like you uh, have some furniture you need to get rid of. You know what would be fun, actually? To add like voice, to add voice into this? 
um, which I particularly enjoy because that's the team I'm on, <laughs> working on voice things here at, on Adobe XD. Um, okay. And we can actually have our design speak this out like as, as this happens, because why not? Looks like you have some furniture you need to get rid of. Oh, that's friendly. Nice. Um, cool. Okay. Um, I and then and then we could do like I found uh, these donation spots nearby and again like oh the potential here to bring this further is impeccable like there's there's so much you can do there's so much you can do um, so when you design with yours I'm going to make this longer so we can have a scrolling list perhaps um, you know, bring it into whatever level you want. Maybe you give them options for donation and you give them options for selling as well. Maybe you show them like, oh, hey, since you connected this to your Facebook and we know that your friends are also selling or looking to buy a couch, like, let's connect you with them. And like, there's so many rich opportunities for connections here. And so, um, like, why not take advantage of that? And so we are going to do so it knows our location and we'll we'll list some some locations where we can donate our our furniture nearby so we'll say like um goodwill like donation center and like we can make up a, a fake address for it as well i'll do a separate text box for that um maybe it's actually like Ooh, okay. Can we do like a little card above it? On there, I think we'll have like a map. So look, I've got a map. And so I think we'll have like little pins of where each of these are on the map. And so I'm going to paste this over my rectangle, select both of them, Command, Shift, M. Boom, mask. The mask is done. And then we're going to scale this down. And so we're going to have a little pin of where this Goodwill Donation Center is. Can I nail where it actually is? Because I was just there. <laughs> it's like somewhere over here. <laughs> so maybe I can get it on the on the dot. Um, that'd be fun. Because you gotta, gotta donate your stuff. Okay. So we're gonna have like a red dot. You could do a pin. You could do, you know, however you want to style this. You can see, we can make it a pin pretty easily. Like we just open that shape up, that circle. We get to the points and then you just move one of them down and then sharpen it up here. Boom, look, we have a pin. Pins are easy. Pins are easy and pins usually have, what's missing here? Can you know, do you know what's missing? The white dot, cool. The white dot with no border. Okay, let's group those together because they are a group. Look at that, Goodwill Donation Center. Awesome. Um, and so, you know, we're giving them handy tips to, to take into consideration for how they can get rid of this item. So this would be like 1116, one, I don't know the actual address. Um, but, you know, we can take a guess. I, I don't even know if that's an address. Uh, <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. See, I'm, I'm making everything Brooklyn themed because I just moved to New York, so shout out to Brooklyn and New York and everything. Okay, uh, smaller. Let's make that 14. There we go. Okay, and the dress is actually not as important, so we'll do that. And we can make this a repeat grid, boom, because we have multiple options for donations, and so we can outline all of those different options with the repeat grid. So I just selected that and then did repeat grid. That's up at the top corner. Um, that's rad. Okay. Um, okay. I think we need to go back to prototype mode and see how we can wire this up to make it a little bit more fluid. I'm thinking maybe over here we we will just uh, we'll change the location of this mask, right? And oops, we'll change the location of the oh it's it's changing everywhere. Okay, how about okay? We'll make this a component. Look, this is a hack. So if you don't want everything to change on every single instance of the repeat grid, make it a component. And then when you change a component in a different place, it's an, it's an instance of the component with overrides. So look, it didn't change for the other ones. 
Nice. Sweet. Um, and so we'll do like housing works donations. Um, okay. Which I think is another, someone recommended this place to me. Okay. Um, perfect. Let's wire this up. So we have our loading, our loading stages here and those are wired up, but not this last one. So we're going to wire up the whole artboard uh, on a timed transition. You have, if, you, if you're looking for the timed transition, which is an automatic transition, so that means it's triggered by time, um, you have to get to that from the artboard itself. You have to select the actual text of that artboard before you can see that show up. Um, so something to think of. Um, so if you're like trying to select an individual element, right, and you're looking for, oh, where's the, where's the time trigger? It's because you have to have it, it's, a, it's an artboard wide trigger, right? Because so, it's happening like everywhere. And so we'll drag out from the artboard to the next one. Time is our trigger here. Um, and it's, you know, you noticed it, it shows up there. And cool, okay. And then it should, everything should load. It should just kind of appear, okay. And let's make it slower, actually. Point two, let's do, yeah. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we take the shutter. It's like loading, looking at your photo. Ooh, it slides up. Looks like you have some furniture you need to get rid of. And look, we can scroll. We can scroll and, and find out what that is. And you know what, actually, you know I'm looking at this, and you know I think it would be really cool if we fix, if we go into prototype mode and we select this image and we do fix position when scrolling. Notice how that will actually change the scrolling behavior. Boom, look, it stays, it stays there. And that's actually really cool. I think that's really cool. So the card comes up and the image stays because the image is behind the card, right? Um, cards are such a trend nowadays with, you know, designing and they're cool that you can do, you can do a lot with like this card that, you know, those rounded things. You can move them, you can drag them and you can make them smaller or bigger. Um, they're really fun. Um, and this card has a shadow too, just to make it, give it some depth behind this photo as well as you, as you drag it up. And so what would the next step be for this? I think it would be to like, okay, let's select one of these and let's actually like do something with the furniture or maybe we can show if you, okay. So I'll show you one more thing. I think it would be cool to actually make this social in some in some capacity. So let's go back to the repeat grid. And if you had, we had some faces down here and okay, let's, um, okay, let's do some faces. Ungroup grid. Let's go to object plugins. I showed this before, but I just, I love this. This is a great plugin called UI faces. It will take whatever your selected objects are. You hit apply and it will fill them with faces. Boom, that's great. Let's take the border off. And so maybe then our app is like, um, or, or reach out to your friends who recently moved to NYC, recently moved, moved here. And maybe so the app, maybe the app knows that. And if someone is new here, they probably need furniture, right? So it's, it's being smart. I think that's that's the next generation of apps that we're, we're entering. It's not like apps that are doing anything that's particularly new. It's making the connections between all these services that we already have. Facebook knows that we moved. This thing knows where all the donation centers are. This thing knows that you want to get rid of something. Like, we have all that technology. Can we just like add the connective tissue? Um, that would be remarkable. <laughs> that's what we need. It's not more highly elevated tech, it's just connecting the tech we have. Um, so you make an awesome design and you've got your awesome design that you made in XD uh, and you can share it with this blue button at the top, share for a review, and you can create a link for your design right here, right now. Boom, here we go, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, copy link, boom. And then you could be like, hey, Discord people, here's my prototype. Um, right, and you, we can share it. We'll give you feedback. We'll help you improve as a designer. With that feedback, you bring that into Behance, and you can post that for the whole world to see. Uh, you can give your project a bunch of images, 
and you can add a keyword. Uh, what's key here is that when you upload your project and you're in the keyword phase uh, of the upload discoverability process, it's, oh, that's my timer to finish. Um, <laughs> you type in XD daily challenge. And what's great, if you add that tag, it will show up here with everyone else's that has been also everyone else contributing in the challenge. And so be part of that community. Uh, let's, let's become better designers all together. Um, that's it for today. That's how we can design a scanning app to let someone know where to take their stuff. So many other directions that can go in, explore, push the boundaries of this. And I'll give you feedback on Discord. I'll be back same time tomorrow, and I can't wait to see you. So uh, <laughs> good luck designing. Uh, peace out. Thank you so much.